All right, everybody, Aggie back with ProSource Athletics YouTube channel and Coach Tube, and we're back with Brett Carroll, BC Athletics, Knox, Bill, Tennessee. So super excited to have him. We're gonna go through what drill right now on hitting. Yeah, so another drill that uh, I think finding out with, I mean, with most hitters and, and drills that I would feel towards the end of my, I really started to learn this stuff towards the end of my career um, that I think are very helpful is when I start from athletic position, so I've already gathered, I've felt some separation, I've landed soft, my front, you know, my front toe, and I'm really now starting the process of the correct kinetic chain working. I wanna start from here, so I can really feel me starting from a constrained position. So I can feel some tension a little bit in my core, and I just wanna even start the barrel straight up, a little bit of turn, I'm not trying to over rotate or anything, but I'm just trying to start centered athletic and develop a controlled violent swing from this position, which is important. So if I start here and I can really feel this move, so I can't gather, I gotta find a way to be effective and athletic to this baseball by what, what a lot of people would see just a similar, I mean a, a simple movement, meaning I could stay here all day and just, again, punch balls. You know, oh, it's good, it looks like I'm drive. But is it optimal? Um, is it most efficient for me to stay here and now work this way, I can, you can see the barrel gain momentum back behind me and whip through the zone. And you can help me you can see staying athletic. Fit, weight's 50-50, barrel's here, and I'm just trying to feel that move happen. And, I, and if you do that yourself, you're gonna feel some tension and some stretch happening. So I'm here and turn through it. So what do you call this drill? It's, it's it, it, We call it the 50-50 drill, pull holes drill. Um, shout out to Tewksbury hitting. But this is something that really I think watching out of pools is style. He really does this move really efficiently, uh, especially his years at St. Louis. So another drill that's good that I think helps when you talk about using your bigger muscles is so you can start 45 here and to really feel your hip set your shoulders like this, where I'm in line with my hands pulled back. Now I, I'm stretched here, like I feel I'm about to my abs are about to rip out what little I have left and start to whip through the zone here. So as I pull back and I want to snap the barrel. Do you see that was all of this happening to generate that turn? So that's to me how you define a short swing. Boom, that and not short, 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 then the barrel comes through. That's really long in my opinion. So not necessarily my opinion, it's something experience as a player too. So um, so if I pull back, feel resistance, I'm gonna hold, I'm try to snap there. You can see just the uh, direct uh, tension being released to where you feel some back speed coming through. Then you just continue to work on the accuracy of hitting line drives, you know, over the shortstop second baseman's head that have some carry behind it. So I think those are really good sequencing drills to feel the trunk working first, Hands stay close to the barrel, the body, and the barrel work through the ball. Awesome, man. As always, uh, appreciate your time on this. Uh, what's the website that we can, people can go and find out more information about you guys? About, uh, more about information about us, www.bcathleticsknox.com. Facebook page, BC Athletics, and we have an Instagram uh, account, bc underscore athleticsknox.com, or Knox, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man, Social appreciate it as blender. always.